Welcome Intermediate Foundations. This is week six, seven. I want you to practice at home. Looks like we should be back on April the 26th, so not an awful long time now after Easter holidays. More or less, we should be back. We are, however, hoping that on April the 12th, which is the week of the local schools break, um, I hope lots of you can make it. Look out for your emails. You'll need to book with us if you want to do it. We're going to the local park down at the mine. We're doing some fitness just to kind of get back into dance and at least see some of our friends. But we're only going to book 15 places per age group. Um, for that and have three teachers, so you will need to email us if you want to join us. And it'll probably be 10 to 11 or some kind of morning time, so you've got the rest of the day. Um, and it'll be for each age group during the week of your Easter break. So we hope you're doing fine. Um, I've decided, because we have posted so many long classes, lots of bar, that we're going to start doing a few focus on three three different things, and I'll keep rotating it between now and coming back to the studio in the centre, because I don't want you to forget your centre work. Um, but we're also going to break down some of these things for you to think about. So the three things, um, and appreciate you can't put away and jump as much as you can in the studio when you're at home, because most of us don't have the same space or the same floor. But let's just try and do our best to be thinking about all these things, so that when we come back, we're really, really good at them. So. The things we're going to do today for Intermediate Foundation will be your centre practice, which has a pirouette in it from fourth. We're going to have a jump, which will be your Allegro three. And before that, we're going to do your adage. So they're all very different qualities, different dynamics, different musicality, um, different feels, and different steps. So I want you to work hard on these three things, and this will get you um, great marks when you come back and you start thinking about going towards exams and things, okay? So, for your centre practice, in the Intermediate Foundation one, this is completely on fast. It's very unforgiving, facing the examiner. Hips and shoulders are absolutely square, and the examiner can see them. So we're going to do our arms through first. Really lovely first, opposite your tummy buttons, keeping those elbows lifted. Don't, with the concentration, let your arms sag. Degage to bond with turnout, degage to second with turnout, degage, hold, place fourth position, and lovely pirouette, close up the back. You, you can add your head, your head always, and lovely pirouette, close up the back. You, you can add your head, your head always gets left and spins around in a pirouette, so we're always doing that. But what you'll find is when it's a single, you don't need to whip it as much as if it was a double, but we still need to see that you know that that's a pretty wet head. Then it repeats to the other side. Place, now most of my weight should be in the front there so that I'm able to go up. All right, good. Then we're going to do two degages, no, sorry, we're going to do uh, two grand back ones, de bon. Pull those toes back, and then in second position, this isn't high, it's just lifting these, this side here so that it doesn't droop. You're going to lift that leg in second, close it behind, hold that to gashe, hold, then place, single again, no doubles in intermediate foundation, rather than fifth, arms fifth, and then off you go to the left side, to gashe. To get out shape, keeping the turn out muscles engaged, out, hold, place. Nice single, close behind. Repeat. Nice single, foot goes behind. Yeah, just come here. Okay, going back one. Two to the front, keeping the turn out. Now lift the side of your bodies. Good. To get out shape, hold, Place, single to the left, relevant fifth. Now I'm not mirroring you, so <laughs> it's your right foot that's at the front. Um, but if you're at home and you think, oh gosh, do you know what? I'm really struggling. Just do the same foot as me at the front. It's fine, it does it right foot and left foot, okay? Um, but really and truly, you start with your own right foot front. What you might need to do is stop and start the video. So watch me and then stop, stop your video and then do it again with me once you've had a really good look at it. 
All right, so right foot on the fast, um, and we're going to do your centre practice with the music. All right, let's just do, before we do the full centre practice, let me see two things broken down. One is your pirouette. So let's put your right foot behind. Degagee, place. Now, I need to see you be able to get up there very quickly. So I'm going to do degagee there, without a turn, and close the foot at the back. Then slip it behind. Degage, place, no turn, behind, slip the front foot behind. Let's do two more, back foot, place to the front, and pass it really quickly, and then change. Degage, place to the front, and down. Let's use some music and just do that first, okay? And you turn and put it to the back. Good. The other bit is probably the grand back bit. So let's put your, I'll put my left foot in the front, but you put the same foot as me, you put your right foot in the front, just for this bit. Two grand back ones. So hips and shoulders nice and square. I'll be turning our knees out from the hips twice. Don't worry about the height too much. Now, this one in second is super difficult because we need to keep our turn out here. And then pull everything up to get that lift. Good. And let's try with the other leg. Two grown back ones. Get the lift. Good. Let's do that again. Two grown back ones with your right leg. And you can do this with or without me. You can switch the video off. And two grown back ones. Keeping the turn out. Lift up here. Up. And grow as you lift your leg. Feel as though somebody has pulled you out of the top of your head. Okay, so we've broken some of those bits of that pirouette down and bits of your second half of the centre practice, which has that grown back one and that lift. And now we're going to put them all together. Okay, with the whole exercise. All right, are we ready? Put your... I'll tell you what I'll do, guys, to make it nice and easy for you. I'll start with my left foot front, and you can copy it. Um, exactly. So you put your right foot in front, I'll mirror you and I'll start with my left. Okay, you ready? Yeah. 
So the bits where I've broken it down, you, you at home should do as well. So practice, you know, the bits where I've just done the rail of day without turning. Practice the bits where I've just done the ground back ones and the lift of the leg in second. Because if you break these things down, when you put them all together with the whole exercise back at the studio, it'll be a lot easier. Okay, we're going to move on to adage now. So those of you that do piano will know that adage or adagio in music, or you might do violin or another instrument, is slow. So in ballet, it's the same thing. Adage is the slow, long kind of movements that we do. We generally lift our legs, so there'll be arabesques in there, there'll be devil pays to one, to second, and so on. Um, so girls or boys, both, both sets, you need to be able to really think about the quality of this being a slower dynamic. You also need to think of your presentation skills. So I'm not going to reverse this, guys, um, but you can just go with me and worry about which leg it is if you're confused. But try and go towards your left shoulder to the sides of the room. And I'm going to put my right foot behind. Now, if you're struggling, just go the same as me and put your left foot behind. And we're going to do three classical walks. Our arms are going to start here. Boys, you can start with a stretch to catch it, goes with a curtsy. We're going to walk one to the center of your arms first, keeping those knees turned out. One on the bottom. Lovely soft knees. Three. And close by four, and we're facing corner five, or quasi, with our right foot front. So if you're worried about the corner numbers, let me just go over them. Corner one is your front, turn to your right shoulder, corner two, turn to your right shoulder, the back is three, turn to your right shoulder, back side is four, turn to your right shoulder, so we keep turning clockwise. The first corner is five, so that's where we're facing the next corner is six, the back corner is seven, the last back corner is eight. So those are the Royal Academy corners, just teaching you them so it helps you a little bit when you're at home. So we're facing your own corner five at the moment. But don't worry, if you need to just face the same way as me, that's absolutely fine. Okay, we're going to do a devil pay de bond. So we're not going to be facing the front, we're just slightly facing that corner. We're going to peel that foot off, knees back, turf a de bon, degage and close. Uh, from here, we're going to go on fast. Derf a front foot to second, degage close it behind. Plie, chasse, just checking it is the front foot. Yes, so from, from the devil pay to second, you're going to close that one at the back. Now don't worry about the height of that, I didn't do that high, hips and shoulders nice and square. Close it behind. Plie chasse, knees sideways, transfer the weight over. Keep that chain out in second, you see there. Three little pivots around. Now you're going to need to lengthen this leg into a lovely abyss. Chasse, passe, one foot, pick it up, chasse, passe, and close. And then we're going to double pay on this side, one, two, arms forth, and close. One to second, arm second, the A, P, A. Chasse to the front foot, three little turns, lengthen. One two behind the side, front, chasse lower, and then chasse crayon, and finish with two arms. So the first chasse is a low arm, can you see my heels pushing forward there, and then a high arm. And I remember this with Joan Young and Elizabeth, we did a lot of chasses, pushing, not to let that happen, pushing the heel forward. So practice those at home. Keep practicing the heel going forward at home. Okay, we're going to do that full exercise now, guys, for your adash. There's one more bit I think that you can separate out as well, and I think it's the arabesque. So just do this bit for me separate from the adash. 
Plie, chassis to your front foot through second. Can you see both knees are turning out, the hips and shoulders are twisting. Transfer the weight over. When you, your heel should be round here. When you do your three little pivots, make sure it's on the ball of the foot. Now, I want to see a lovely out rest. Fondue behind the side front. And then we'll go the other way. Plie, chassis, knee sideways. Transfer the weight over. Have you got that heel round? Pivot two, three, lift, fondue behind the side front. Yeah, I was a little bit off balance there. But you want to, when you're doing an bed, you want to feel as though somebody has pulled your arms and your legs. So we've got that lovely line through the body. Good, let's do this one with music. Remember, it starts with your right foot at the back and you're walking around. But if you get your legs muddled up, we'll sort them when you get back to the studio. Alright, well done. So, add out your intermediate foundation. So in that fifth position, if you bring your arms down there, think about it, zipping up the whole body all the way from the base of your abdomen all the way up to your chest. Think of opening your chest here. Imagine a 50 pence piece on both um, little dips under your shoulder bones here. Um, open here. Chin to chest, a nice gap. You can check that out here. If you look at the back of that body, the muscles are zipping down the back and the glutes are squeezed next to it. And what I say to my little ones is you put a peg on the bottom. So you might want to do that well. Just a quick, simple trick to make sure that you've got the back and not the side of it. If you forget to put your peg on the bottom, you cannot possibly engage these muscles here that turn you out. And these muscles here can only turn out and wrap round if you put that peg on your bottom, and the examiners really, really have strong, strong preferences, in fact, will definitely think that people are not working properly if they can't see those glutes pinned together at the back and those muscles working round. So no lazy legs, no lazy glutes. You really need them fully engaged because it's only with that, not only does it look better, it's not just about looking better, it's about those lovely soft knees, and that lovely turnout that you get, and that quality you get. Um, it now allows those bones in your hip to rotate and give you the maximum that you can get, because we're all built differently. So we don't turn out from the knee and injure ourselves, we turn out as much as we can from the hip socket. All right, let's go. Um, we are going to move on now, so we're going to practice all those things at home, and you're going to move on to Allegro 3. Your Allegro 3 is your jumping one, which I absolutely love. You can start with whichever foot you wish at the front here, um, and so you can copy me just now. So we're actually going to start in a quasi position or facing corner 5 from the numbers I did earlier on. Girls, your coach's position, boys, would be a stretch leg. So it's a step over 
and hop um, with your foot coup de pied at the back. So try and jump high enough, because this is a high jump, it's your highest jump that you're going to do in intermediate foundation, to stretch your underneath leg. Step, 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 and hop coup de pied again. Step, step. Now, we're going to step on this front foot and do like a little scissors jump on the bottom. It does triple. I'm going to keep them low so that you can see me on my screen. I'm not going to travel, but in the studio you will. Step, scissor forward. Step, scissor back. Step, pas de chan. And that's facing the corner there. So let's just see that bit again. Step, pop, do it with me. And step on the front foot to your audience and twist your back foot through. Step on this foot that's gone up, keep the chin out. Back, step, and the pressure up. Knees turning out. Good. From there, you're not going to hop the first leg, you're just going to lift that leg in a lovely attitude of the bon, with your arms in opposition fourth. So it just goes after your pas de stretching your knees, lift, bend. Then we have to do, we have to bend our knees because we're going to do four hops in attitude going to the back. So, up, two, three, four, quite hard to get them lifted up. Two steps on the round of this. On your left, on your right, run. And then we're going to face the opposite way. Okay. So, let's go again. Step, hop. Step. New corner. Step. Step. Pas de chan. And then, we're going this way then. Front leg. Hop. One, two, three, four. Pull the bodies up. Two hops out of this. Little round. Any free jump you like. And finish. So it's a free jump at the end and a free hour which you need to practice. So that last little bit from your pas de chat, if you're this side, it's your left arm, arm facing back. I'll do it without a hop. One, two, three, four. Step on the right. See the same arm as that leg here. Run, run, run. We finish up doing some bit over. And that's your leg of three. It goes out with exit. The dynamic of this is lifted and jumping. And when we get back to the studio, we'll break this up. But I strongly recommend just doing this from the powder shell. Let's just do this just now. Lift. One, two, three, four. On the right, on the left. And then you run. And let's practice it the other way. Pas de chat. Lift. One, two, three, four. On the left, on the right. Okay. So, it goes lift. Jump one, two, three, four. Step arabesque, step arabesque. Other way. Lift. Jump two, three, four. Step up arabesque, step up arabesque. And you finish. <laughs> It's a brilliant one, and actually most people have loved doing it in class. I'm not going to break it down too much on here, because what you can do is you can keep pausing it and doing it again. The other bit you can practice across the room are just to get me turning out from the hip sockets. And you can do that the other way as well. Knee sideways, knee sideways, the light is open. Stretch those back legs. I'm a bit of a one for having little kinks in my knees. Don't you do that. Stretch those legs. Okay. Shall we go from the top? This is nice and jumpy and bouncy. At home, I know this is hard, because especially for bedrooms upstairs, you sound like a herd of elephants, like I used to. And my dad used to shout at me for jumping on the roof. Um, mark it through without a jump if you're upstairs. If you're lucky enough to have some space downstairs without annoying everybody, you might be able to do a little jump, but be careful of your floor surface. If you can't jump, just mark the feet through. We're going to start in this position, 
Sorry. Yes, we are. This position facing this corner or a long leg. Place your corner hand. Right, are we ready? A leg with three. And there's another Allegro for the boys as well. So we'll just do a boys post for your jumps, but most of your stuff's the same as the girls apart from your dance. And we haven't got that far yet for girls or boys. Take care, look out for emails and Facebook, and I hope you'll join us for outdoor dancing from the 12th of April if you're all off. I hope Dollar's off as well. Take care. Bye. Keep practicing.